Hey guys, I hope you're all well. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and I just wanted to do a really quick unboxing video for my new shoes, which I'm so excited about. Um, so I got these basically just before I was pregnant. No, just before I was pregnant. Just before I had the baby. Uh, and I've only just opened them and she's nearly five weeks old, but I just was like, you know when you get something really special that you've really wanted for ages and you're like, I need to soak in the moment and I need to like look great when I try them on. I was like, I need to have my nails painted, the shoes, I need to, to have tan to be. I was like, I can't be just slipping them on. No, I need to have like, and I, the pampering was like at zero points because I had, I was like nine months pregnant when I first, and they arrived just after I had her. So I bought them over the phone and they arrived just after I had her. And I was just like, I didn't even open the parcel for like a week because I just was like, having a meltdown so yeah anyway so this is my first ever Hermes purchase and I honestly did not see myself ever purchasing anything from them ever because the bags are so expensive and I just never really thought about the shoes to be honest um but yeah I've got an orange bag I can't believe it so these are the sandals I can't remember the name of them but I'm gonna find it out to put it in the title and the description and maybe it might say in the box um I have opened them full disclosure and put them back together again for this video because I opened them like after a week and looked at them and was like do they fit yeah and then I put them back and was like I need to like I said fully appreciate the moment when I actually properly open them so then I like waited um but yeah I'm definitely keeping this box forever don't know what I'm gonna do with it but I feel like it's a bit of a moment so but I, let me tell you I was gonna get the Chanel sandals the really chunky ones um, I saw these on someone, but I was like, oh, dream. And then I just kind of forgot about them because I just assumed they'd be really expensive. And then I looked at the Chanel chunky sandals, which I do have a pair of Chanel sandals from two years ago, which are kind of similar, but not as chunky. But I was I like, I really like these. So I was looking at them. They've put their prices up so much. They were like 1,200, I think, for a pair of sandals. And the ones that I'd got two years ago were around six to eight hundred pounds i can't remember if it's 600 or 800 pounds anyway i was like thinking they would be that price and then i was like no way am i spending that much on a pair of sandals because they were like not timeless either and then i thought i'm just gonna have a look at these Hermes sandals that i've been looking at and they were 550 pounds which i was shocked by because i just assumed Hermes sandals or shoes would be so expensive considering how expensive their bags are but no 550 pounds i mean i know that's still a lot of money for a pair of sandals but Considering how much their bags are and how much the Chanel sandals were, I was like, that's a bargain. Um, so these are, did I tell you that they're men's? I think I did. Anyway, so they're men's sandals. Let me just undo the bow. I'm gonna have to like tie this ribbon in my hair or something. I'm gonna have to keep all of this. Maybe not the carry bag, it's a bit damaged. So I've got, should I tell you the story about how I bought them or do you just wanna see them and then I'll, t I'll tell you the story after because I feel like people will just wanna see them. So these are Hermes sandals and I always get moaned out in the comments for being really talking too much oh here we go this is my receipt does it say what they are on there does it say no doesn't say what they were okay i'm gonna just figure it out so i got them from the selfages in manchester obviously in lockdown so i'll tell you about it when i've shown you so they come in I'm really impressed with these dust bags. I mean, I guess it is Hermes, but they're like proper bags. They're not, they're no, no skimping for Hermes. Um, and these are the sandals. And I was a bit worried because they're men's that they would be a bit wide because I've got quite long feet and they're a bit skinny, but they're absolutely fine on me. And when I spoke to the woman, she did say that this one had a couple of scuffs. It was a right foot, had a bit of scuffs on it. Um, but I was like, I need those shoes. I do not care because um, the actual there's like a tiny scratch there I don't know if you can see in the light I I mean it's barely noticeable and then on the actual sole of the foot there's a couple of scratches but I was like no one's gonna see that and then um yeah they fit really well they actually only start at, I think seven or seven and a half so this is like the one time it's actually paid off for me to have big feet um I can shop in the men's section. The women's did have some similar, or link below if I can find them. Um, but I think they were out of stock too, and they 
I mean, in my opinion, they weren't that nice. They weren't leather, they were like suede, and they had a Velcro strap across here, rather than like just a plain leather strap. So they just weren't as nice as these classic men's ones. Um, so yeah, love them so much. I just know I'm gonna wear them loads. Um, so yeah, if you've got big feet like me, then it's gonna pay off for you. Though probably only men watching this because I put, well, I'll put the name in the description and then the men will watch it to get a review and be like, oh. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, so love these. So these are the sandals on. I am a size 41, a size eight in women's shoes and they fit me, I would say, perfectly. Um, so definitely just like your usual size, women's and men's the same. As you can see, they are quite wide, but like not too wide, like, they're not uncomfortable when I walk and they stay on my feet so it doesn't bother me at all. I don't think they look silly um, and they're just so comfortable and I, what I love about these compared to the Chanel ones is I just think they are so much more kind of classic and timeless. Um, so I'm literally in love with these. They're so gorgeous. So what happened is I saw them, really liked them, I was pregnant and emotional and I was like getting FOMO, I was like need them now. Um, and then some one of my lovely followers who, because I put it in my thing that I wanted them on my stories and was like, oh, I might buy them. Someone messaged me saying, if you want them, ring this number because that is the customer service. I do not have that number. I'm I'm gonna apologize now because I don't know where I put it, but I'm sure if you Google it, you can find it. Um, so it was like the customer service and I rang them and they said, um, they like searched for my size in the shoe and um, they were like, oh, we've got a pair in, it was Heathrow Airport, I think or somewhere else, and then in Manchester, Selfridges, and um, I was like, they were like, go to Manchester one because it's closer to you, though it doesn't really matter because they shipped them to me anyway, um, posted, I'm not American, shipped, um, and I, sorry, I'm getting so distracted, baby brain, I basically, they gave them all my details, my, um, not my bank card, but like my size, my name, um, my address, all of that, and they took it all down, and then the woman from Selfridges called me, I, I left my email too, but the guy wrote like Dineas or something, not Sinead, um, and so she rang me because the email didn't go through, and I was literally like, I will have them, no, actually, she was really lovely, and I've heard that sales advisors from Hermes can be a bit snobbish, and like they're really, it's really hard to get a bag, I mean, I know I'm getting shoes, not a bag, but anyway, she's definitely the person that I will go to from now on if I get anything, even if it's in Manchester, because she's so lovely, um, and she was like, listen, they've got a bit of a mark on them, I'm not happy with that, so she was like, I'm gonna, she was next in like on the weekend, so she, it was like a Tuesday then, so she was like, I'm gonna take them home and try and buff it out, and oh no not take them home she was going to buff them out i don't know i can't remember i can't i cannot remember okay i'm sorry she was going to try and buff them out and she was also going to try and find them in another store and get them transferred and then she was going to ring me and then she rang me and she was like i've got most of them out but let me show you and also um i couldn't find them anywhere else so i looked at the picture and i was like do you know what i don't care i just want them so i got them and yeah that's my story basically um, and it was my first COVID luxury purchase over the phone and I was very happy with the service. She was so lovely. Um, so if I want anything else from Hermes, not that I'll be affording an Hermes bag anytime soon. Um, and I would definitely be calling her. Side note, I'd love to hear your guys' opinion. Like, what do you think about Hermes bags? Because I always put unpopular opinions on my Instagram. Like we do like a little poll because it's quite fun. And um, come follow me on Instagram by the way. And um, loads of people always say unpopular opinion. I hate Hermes bags, they're like granny bags. And I feel like I'm so torn on them because I feel like they are really nice bags. But I'm like, are they really worth that money? I just don't know. I feel like it is an investment, isn't it? But to me, like no bag is worth that many. I feel like it's more like a statement, like in terms of I am wealthy, I can afford this bag. It's like more of like a showy thing to be like, look, I've got an Emma's bag, therefore I am elite. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, I'd love to hear your guys' opinion and don't come at me if I end up getting an Emma's bag because if I can afford one, then I probably will. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I will insert like a little clip of me wearing them on my tootsies um, and yeah, 
don't forget to subscribe i don't know how regular these videos are going to be now because obviously i've got a newborn baby uh but i just really wanted to show you those shoes because i just i just knew they had to get out of the box and into my wardrobe and i knew that if i didn't do the video now then i would never come back to it and i know people wanted to see like a little unboxing um they asked for it on instagram so yeah i hope that you enjoyed it if you've got any more questions then let me know in the description box below and also let me know what you think about hermes um bags because i would love to hear and i'll see you next time bye